Good morning everybody. Today we see about biography of Prabhat Ranjan Sarkar who is author, social revolutionary, poet, composer and linguist. Prabhat Ranjan Sarkar also known by his spiritual name Sri Sri Ananda Murthy who is author, social revolutionary, poet, composer and linguist. His teachings span the entire spectrum of thought and pointed humanity in a direction toward developing their intrinsic spiritual nature and shaping a society that would provide the congenial environment for the development of higher consciousness. He once stated to one of his disciples that he wanted to give new ideas in every sphere of human endeavor and action. Sarkar was the founder of Ananda Marga in 1955, a spiritual and social organization that offers instruction in meditation and yoga. Ananda Marga is now spreading over 120 countries around the world on all six continents. He systematized the entire spiritual practices of Ananda Marga into what he called the 16 points which lay the foundation of a balanced and progressive development of the individual and physical, mental, social, mental and spiritual levels. Jayani Sail Singh, seventh president of India, has said about Sarkar, Prabhat Rajan Sarkar was one of the greatest modern philosophers of India. Sarkar's system of spiritual practice has been described as a practical synthesis of Vedic and Tantric philosophies. Vedic spiritual practices are more ritualistic and devoted to the changing of popular shlokas such as the Gayatri Mandra or the signing of traditional Indian bhajanas. The meditation systems found in Vedic parts are not detailed nor are mantras individually prescribed according to the psychic temperament of the aspirant. Sarkar's sadhana system is based on the ancient tantric practices which over time have eroded and fallen into the misinterpretation for lack of competent preceptor. In Sarkar's revised tantra, he makes use of Siddha, Mandra or Proven Mandra which are protonized by a Mahakul that have the capability to raise the latent spiritual force within the subtle spinal column often referred to as Kalakundalini. Such mantras are individually imported to a willing aspirant according to their intrinsic psychic temperaments referred to as Samskaras. He denounced materialism and capitalism and described the universe as a result of macro psychic content. The entire universe exists within the cosmic mind, which itself is the first expression of consciousness coming under the bondage of its own nature. Sarkar was a prolific author and produced an extensive body of works that includes theories aimed at increasing human welfare such as the law of social cycle, the progressive utilization theory, the theory of microvitam, as well as the philosophy of a new humanism. Sarkar was born during the full moon of the Indian month of Vedas on 21st May 1921 to Abharani Devi and Lakshmi Narayan Sarkar. Baba's father was a homeopathic doctor of considerable renown. His family hailed from Bamunbara, Burwan district in West Bengal. Sarkar was known as an exceptionally bright child in his youth, practicing meditation by himself at an early age and displaying great knowledge of various languages and various topics. Knowledge which was reportedly not gained in school, reading books, nor listening to teachers or any other outer source. In 1939, Sarkar left Jamalpur for Kolkata to attend Vidyasagar College of the University of Calcutta. Sarkar had to quit his studies to support his family after the death of his father and from 1944 until the early 1950s, Sarkar worked as an accountant at the Indian Railway Headquarters in Jamalpur, Bihar. He taught the techniques of ancient Tandra meditation to a select number of his colleagues and gradually more and more people were drawn to the spiritual practices he taught. Did you like this video? Please share and subscribe. Thank you. Good day.